Hey man, I'm running late for the mastermind. Trevor, thank you so much for letting me crash tonight here. I'll see you later today at the strength gym. I gotta get going, I'm running late. Uh, have a great day, man. Love you, brother. Take care. Handle. Take care, man. Later, brother. Be cool, man. Handle. Brian Stecker here again, certified personal trainer and baby boomer fitness expert, and I have the honor of being here with the most disciplined man alive, Craig Ballantyne. So I had a chance to read your book and also attend your one day workshop, and something that's really transpired, transpired for me the last six months was creating that perfect day, and you helped me get very clear about creating that perfect day. Craig, how could somebody who's at home watching this create that perfect day for themselves? Great, great, great question. So here's what we want to do. First of all, we're going to find out what really matters for you in your life. What season of life are you in? Are you in a season of family, season of wealth building, a season of health, or a season of personal enrichment and giving back? And then we're going to say, okay, if that's the number one thing in their life, then we're going to design your day to figure out how do you focus on that. Plus, we're gonna take a look at basically what are called your circadian rhythms, your biology, and your preferences. Am I a morning person, am I an afternoon person? When am I most productive? And then we schedule your most important tasks around what I call your magic time. And then finally, we identify those things, and we all have them, those things that hold us back, those big obstacles, and we build a fence around ourselves to protect us from those obstacles so that we don't get distracted by too much time on Facebook or too much television or whatever it is. We stay focused all day long so that when you're structured in the day, you have true freedom in your life at night to be with the grandkids, to be with your, your children, to be with your spouse, to be with your hobbies, or maybe to have freedom during the day to play golf or to you know go swimming, whatever it is, we make the perfect day schedule for each individual. It's not the same for everybody. You don't have the same as I do. Everyone has their own, and I'll show you how. And that's one thing I really appreciate about when I went to the, the workshop. is like, you know, can I really have the perfect day? Can I really step away from the gym? And when I first did this, you gave me a form. I filled it out of what, what's going on in my day. And you helped me take my ideas of what I wanted to create in my life and then make them into an action step. So for what it's transpired and what it's meant for me as an example in the last six months is I'm able to wake up first thing in the morning connect to my purpose, connect to what I'm really about, which has relieved a lot of stress for my life. Mm -hmm. But also that I never thought I could break away from the gym. I thought I had to be there. So I've been able to break away for a two week vacation to go back, spend time with my family. And what I realized, what was really important to me was spending that quality time with my family. So when I did come back to the gym, my members, my team, they got the best of me. Whereas before there was something always in the back of my head, I couldn't identify what it was. And that was that connection with my family. So creating that perfect day, I really appreciate the, the, the blind spot you're able to find for me and show that to me so that way I can create a better overall quality of life. So thank you for helping me create my perfect day. Happy to help. So Brian, I would love to share my book with everyone. You can go to freeperfectdaybook.com and download or order your free copy of the book. Just pay shipping and handling. I'll send it out to you. And then I'd also like people to go and watch another little video I made for them at perfectlifeworkshop.com if you want to go to the next level and work one-on-one -on -one with me and we'll help you do the same thing we did for Brian. Get your day and your life dialed in. Thanks. And guys, like always, if you have some comments, questions, or maybe trying to figure out your perfect day, just drop those down in the comment section below because Craig will be more than happy to get on a Facebook Live, send an email, create a blog post to get those questions answered for you. So drop those down below. And then also, if you love this and you felt like this could, sh somebody in your life needs to see this, just click that share button and share that with them. And thank you so much for watching and letting us help you take your life to the next level. Make it a great day. Hi, Brian Stecker here again, certified personal trainer and baby boomer fitness expert. And today I have the honor of being with Charmaine Ironside. Hello. 
from the diet dropout. So a lot of my baby boomer clients, they know that diet and exercise is a big important to getting results. Can you talk about the psychology of what diet drop off, dropout means? Yeah, so I just really believe in finding a, a sustainable approach to achieving the goals you have for your body. So as you probably know, if you've tried a diet or two or a 30 like me, that they work for a very short time, but then when life happens, when you have a wedding to go to or a birthday party or you know stressful events happen, all of the diet information goes out the window and you end up wanting to just eat everything in sight. So I'm really all about a more sustainable lifestyle change, finding some deep motivations to change instead of just saying you hate your stomach, you hate your arms, you hate your butt, and trying to let that motivate you because that's not going to motivate you long term. That's awesome. And something that's really uh, inspired me to want to share this with a lot of my clients and my viewers is you shared your story uh, on stage in front of a thousand fitness professionals, how you would do bodybuilding competitions and you would be at your peak physical form and you would inspire your clients, but you absolutely hated yourself. Could you explain that and then also then talk about how somebody can have that great physique without having that sacrifice of hating themselves on that journey? Mm, great question. Yeah, so I have done a few different fitness competitions, which means, you know, you diet aggressively, you exercise aggressively, and you get up on stage in front of these judges and, you know, the crowd. And what I realized after doing a couple of those was I could be happy at 200 pounds and I could be miserable at 120 pounds, and it was a big mindset shift. So what I had to do was instead of trying to be thin because I wanted society to accept me or my fitness clients to respect me or because I wanted a judge to affirm that I was okay, I started to do it for myself because I wanted to inspire my daughter and I wanted to feel good and I didn't want to have back pain and I just wanted to be the best version of myself and that ended up being so much more motivating long term than just trying to drop a bunch of weight to be on stage. Just like some of my fitness clients will come in and say, oh, I have a wedding coming up, or I just wanna fit into these old jeans, and I say, okay, that's a great goal, but let's figure out why it really matters and what's gonna keep you wanting to make the best choice for yourself long-term, not just a quick fix. Yeah, that, that's so key that you have to do it for yourself. Yeah. So how does someone bring that back to focus on a daily basis so they can really focus on themselves. So one thing that I love to do and I really recommend is to have a strong vision for your body. So how do you want to look and not even just how you want to look but how is it going to feel to be in that body walking down the beach feeling confident not feeling you know everything's shaking around and feeling embarrassed about what you're wearing. How would it feel to be so confident comfortable in your clothes, you know people are looking at you and thinking you look awesome and so I just like to really think about the confidence and how good it's going to feel to be in that body instead of focusing on you know the flabby arms and the big butt and the big belly. Focus on what you do want instead of what you don't want and you'll start to get more of what you do want because what you focus on, it's absolutely true, what you focus on expands and I know Brian talks a lot about that but it really is true. It's so true. You, what you focus on, what you feel will become your experience so it's so key that you do it. Do you have some kind of like strategy or ritual that allows somebody to connect to that with your program? Connect to that in what way? Connect to that vision of seeing themselves at their best or how to create that for themselves. I just think it takes some reflection sitting down and figuring out how you want to look and why. It's very important to have a reasoning behind it. And then what I encourage my clients to do is every morning, you know, read their vision statement for their body. So write it down and read it and feel it like it's already happening. And that's so much more powerful than you could ever imagine. Everything that you do in the day, you're going to be guided by that vision. So when you know, temptations come, which they always will, you'll yeah. be more likely to make the best decision for yourself if you have this amazing, beautiful, powerful vision that's driving your life. Thank you so much. So it is so true that every day you need to focus on yourself and why you're doing it for you, but also creating that vision and creating a ritual each day to associate to that so that way when your environment is trying to shape you, you're shaping your environment. Where can they find you? Yeah, so I've got, I'm on YouTube, Charmaine Ironside, or you can follow me on Facebook at The Diet Dropout and Instagram at The Diet Dropout. 
Thank you so much for your time. And if you're watching this video, please leave your comments, questions, concerns, because we can at any time do a Facebook Live, we can do a Skype, we can do more YouTube videos, and we can get more of your questions answered so you can drop out of the diet, create the body you love, and start loving yourself and enjoying the life you know you deserve. Woo. Have a great day. Hi, Brian Stecker here again, certified personal trainer and baby boomer fitness expert. And today I'm here again with Shauna Kaminsky. Thank you for joining me. Always my pleasure. And uh, we did this video last year of the strategies that people can use over 50 to it, get great results. And the, the next question that I've gotten from a lot of my audience here is this, is how do we go and rebuild our metabolism over the age of 50? I think the big thing is that um, there's a couple things. People want to lose weight. They want to, you know, look trimmer and, and you know, feel better in their own skin. And one of the things is consistent, constant dieting is killing metabolism. Really? Okay. So you know this. Consistent diet. <laughs> he knows. All this. right. Consistent and yo-yo dieting, low calorie dieting without the nutritional density to support the, you know, to support the metabolism. And so women in particular, you know, they, they feel that not eating is a solution to weight loss when that is actually killing their metabolism more than anything. And then the next thing they're doing in an effort, and it's not their fault, you know, there's so much conflicting stuff mm -hmm. out there. You know, people say you have to exercise. Well, absolutely you have to exercise but exercising the right way. And so a lot of people just do the cardio, long, slow, you know, hours of cardio. And again, what that does is it boosts up cortisol levels. Mm. Cortisol is that belly fat storing hormone that your body sends out in times of stress. And when you're doing tons of cardio, especially with depleted caloric stores, your body thinks, well, it's a, you know, it's an emergency. I'm gonna pack on this these pounds around my waist to protect me from starvation that might be ensuing. And so in an effort to lose weight, people drastically cut calories and then increase cardio. Both of those things crash your metabolism. So the quickest way to bring a metabolism back up is getting more food into your diet. So what would you recommend for people rebuilding that metabolism of food? Well, the first thing is that you can't just all of a sudden double your caloric intake. Okay. Especially because for most women in particular, that would be a head game because it'd be like, they wouldn't feel comfortable eating a lot more food. That's powerful. They, That's powerful because like we just said, you go from swinging the pendulum one way and now I go, go to the, all the no. way to the other age way where it's like, oh, I got to take all these calories now. So what would you recommend to get that pendulum right where they need it? I would just start, you know, eating three meals a day, adding a little bit of protein, just slowly increasing the metabolism, the, well, slowly increasing the food intake. That will slowly increase the metabolism and then eat with your hunger. If you wake up and, and you're hungry, if at lunchtime you're starting to get hungry, it's a good sign that your metabolism is increasing. So you need to eat and eating actually increases your metabolism. And so just eating, just start off by eating a little bit more. Okay, yeah. so just slightly more than what they've been used to. And the rule is nutritional density. So okay. if there's if there's no nutrition in it, then we need to stay away from it. So you're going to increase your metabolism slowly by just eating foods that are good for you. And it doesn't have to be brain surgery or science or what rocket science. It doesn't. It do, we don't need to overcomplicate it. People actually know more than they think they know about nutrition. Okay. You know, like if it's in a box or a bag, it's probably not good for you. Yes, exactly. Right? And so just apply the, the simple rules of nutrition that you already know. If it looks like it's good for you, at, start adding small amounts of nutritionally dense food. Okay. And then as far as exercise goes, yeah. and Brian, you, I know that you advocate this in your, you know, in your programs and in your location. It's just that, you know, we've got to stop the long cardio sessions. What's an easy way for somebody to say, okay, I'm done with the long cardio sessions. What's the easy substitute that you recommend for people that they can do anywhere to help with that? You know, just, it's it sounds like the lowly push-up, bodyweight squat, planks, those are three exercises, a wall sit, 
Those are four exercises that, you know, you could be doing a circuit of that. 10 push-ups, 10 squats, hold your plank for 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. uh, what, did, what was the other one I said? Uh, push-up, squat, wall sit. Oh, plank. and yeah, you know, just, just full body movements, not just the lower body movements, like, you know, walking on a treadmill or running or biking that, you know, open you up to lower body repetitive use injuries that do doesn't address the core and the upper body. So just simple movements really help. You know, you're so right with that. Um, so many times on vacation, I would give up my resistance training and I would go for those long runs and I noticed my butt, when I come back, I do my body comps, so like, what the heck's going on? I still worked out. I still worked out, I still I still ate right, but why am I gaining this body fat? So there's, there's so much validity to that until one day I was like, okay, I'm gonna do, I was from the mindset yeah. of, you know, sports, so I'm gonna lift weights and I only can get results from lifting weights. Then I started working out with some of my friends with those circuits, the yeah. push-up, the plank, the single leg RDL, the squats, and I put it together in a circuit of like five exercises. Right, and maybe 20 minutes. Wow, and I was smoked, and I look at my, my Fitbit, and my heart rate was 150, or I'd come home and i do my body fat test, I was sometimes leaner than I was when I went Left. on vacation. Exactly. Um, just a quick story yeah. before we end is- That's I awesome. Was, I was stuck in the airport for a it was almost a five hour delay. I always carry my jump rope with me. I did jump rope and push ups for 20 minutes, just mm -hmm. on and off, on and off. I felt bad for the person sitting next to me in the other plane. But guess what? It's like, that was a fantastic workout. I did it anywhere. Maybe you inspired them. I did, I inspired some, another guy came over and was doing push ups. That's great. And so it's, can, it's we don't have to overcomplicate things. Yeah. Very, very cool. Yeah. I, I want to thank you so much for this video that you did last year. The audience loved it. So many different yeah. questions. Thanks. And I want to congratulate you. You just came out with an Amazon bestseller. Could you mm. share that with the viewers? Because these are some topics that came up with my audience, but you addressed them in your book. Yeah, there's a lot of, um, it's called Lose Your Menopause Belly, and you can just go to loseyourmenopausebelly.com. And just a freely shipping book, my mission is to help a million women look and feel better in their own skin, gain, um, you know, become more healthy. And yeah, so it, it, there's lots of great concepts in that book. Awesome. Where can they find the book? Loseyourmenopausebelly.com. Awesome. I'll make sure yeah. I put a link down below so you guys can find that. If you guys have any questions for Shauna, leave them down below. She's always here to serve, always here to help, and we'll do that for you. And uh, any parting words? Just do it. Nike had it right. <laughs> like just, you just have to start something small. Just start with something small. Just start something small. Take that action. Thank you yeah. so much for your time. Awesome. You guys have a great day, and I look forward to your comments and getting them over to Shauna. Yeah. Just finished up the awesome coaching day with everybody. Awesome two days of coaching. Now time to head hang with my buddy Trevor. Another awesome coaching day finished up. So just finished up a good meeting today with a lot of other fitness professionals and learning on ways to improve our programs at Boomer Fitness. It's just a great day to uh, share great knowledge, share experiences, what's working, what's not working, and just get more clear about how we can help you guys better. So it was a great day there. And I was sitting in my Uber in a beautiful, sunny California traffic in rush hour. Gotta love it. All right, just finished up masterminding. I had an opportunity to go uh, to a mastermind dinner tonight at Morton's. Um, I don't normally pass on that because they've got some great food, but I had a phenomenal birthday weekend. So I'm going to uh, need to get my fitness keep going on track. I got three good days in. I'm gonna get another one. I'm gonna do this total body workout here. I'm gonna give you a little video of it so you can go and uh, do it yourself. And just kind of give you a day in the life. It's like, that's why I do this vlog. It's so that you can see like, my life's not perfect, but I live it on a day-to-day -day basis and that's where we get our results and that's how we live it. So here we go. So I just finished up the workout here. I did the workout uh, Facebook Live, so you can find it over at the fan page. Uh, I wanted to share it with my clients back home, uh, show them the everyday life of this way I do the vlog too. But wanted to give it to them real time of uh, why we do certain things. So I passed on Morton State Steakhouse tonight. So I had a little rough weekend, you guys saw it with the vlog and uh, I have to, Get back on track like everybody else and just show you guys to live. So I got that in. I'm gonna go for a nice 15 minute walk and have a nice healthy dinner.